If we need to explain what Pinta at the Pinta season is, how would we explain it, Hayley? <laughs> Pinta at the Pinta season is all 20 of Harold Pinter's short plays between now and February. Uh, we're actors. I'm Russell Tovey. This is... Hey, you squire. <laughs> we are performing in uh, two of the plays that Harold Pinter wrote, two one-act plays, one called The Lover, one called The Collection. So we are part two. We are the second evening event of the winter season. So The Lover is about a very, very conventional, quite well-to-do couple who live in the country, um, who seem to be very, very, very conventional, but have a very unconventional sex life, as we find out as we go along. And The Collection is about... Uh, the Collection is about, it's again, it's about couples. So these plays are both about um, sex games and how you interact in relationships, how you manipulate your partner. Uh, a lie or a fact has been told and how the ripples from that affect everyone. It was literally like Jamie Lloyd said, do you want to do this? And it was like, yeah, mm. because there's so many cool people involved and it's Harold Pinter. So as an actor, yeah. this, when you want, and you're a theatre actor, is what you want to do. You want to do, play his words, right? Yeah, and if you want to be directed by anyone doing that, then it's Jamie Lloyd. A lot of people have made Pinter's work really intellectual. Whereas I think because Jamie knew Harold and has studied his work and he's a bit of a genius when it comes to interpreting it, mm. we're able to just sort of fly away with it and just and see what happens and give it a go and, and see and then he's able to work out what's right and what's wrong, I suppose, isn't it? Jamie Lloyd likes his actors to be off book, to know all the words before they come into the rehearsal room. Day one of rehearsals, he said, come on, come on in, everyone up, let's just do a let's do a, the production. She was like, what? So because you know all the lines, we just sort of got up and Started did scenes it. like yeah. as actors. So we were just trusting our instincts and just going with it. And the set was there in the rehearsal room. And it was brilliant. And at the end of it, we all sat down and was like, well, that wasn't, I mean, it was diabolical, but you couldn't have put it on there and then. <laughs> but it was like, that's not too bad, you know? That feels good. And he's like, great. And then you just start picking it apart. You know, he's our, he's our contemporary Shakespeare. Uh, I think his work resonates because it's confusing. And, and at one moment you feel like you're in reality and then the other moment you feel like you don't know where you are, but you're still intrigued. I suppose the big thing that we've realised it is about is about the, the struggle for truth and the shared sense of truth, what's perceived as truth. Mm. And when someone challenges that... No, I'm, I, you're when, very good, it's annoying <laughs> me. When, some, <laughs> when someone challenges that, how, how that then tests people's ability to survive in what they know. God. I thought about I, this last night. This is amazing. <laughs>